Hi everyone. In a previous video, we have talked about how to do regression analysis and why do we need regression analysis. Uh, and we have shown an example to do that in MATLAB. If you haven't watched that, please watch that and I'll link down the video link below so that you can watch it. Now in this video, we're going to see how to, how to do this regression analysis easily using the curve fitting toolbox of MATLAB and this will significantly reduce the coding effects. So to recap, we had a data set like X and Y, and this data set can be plotted like this, where X is in the X axis and Y is in the Y axis, and the data points are plotted like this. Now we need to figure out an equation or a function of X that can represent these data sets as close as possible. And that is how regression analysis works. So we have still we we have shown how to how to do this traditionally, and we have already seen the equation. Now here, let's use the curve fitting tool in MATLAB. So I'll jump jump to MATLAB and show you the example. Let's get to work. So I have opened a MATLAB script and saved it, and also defined the x and y variables that we have seen from the data sets. Now we can plot that to see how does it look like. Um, plot, we'll use the plot command, x, y. If we plot it, then it will be a line. So to see the circles, we can do this. And even we can increase the size of the circle. Marker size could be 10. So that will increase the size of the marker. So now we can see that pretty easily. Okay, so this is our data set. Now, to do the regression analysis visually, we can use a function called CF tool. So use curve fitting toolbox, which is CF tool. If we just write CF tool, this is called curve fitting tool. So it will go to the curve fitting and open another window. So if we run it like this, it should open the CF tool. So the, to, to work with the CF tool, you need to define these variables before opening the CF toolbox. Here you can see there's another window here. It's called car fitting tool. So now it says untitled fit. We can change the name. And here, this is called results. So we can see the results here. We can see the plot here, whatever data set we choose. And these are the type of equations that we can fit with. And the, the bottom thing is actually showing the error or the, the root square and so on. So let's just select the data where we only have a two dimensional data. So we don't need a Z data. We will use X data as X and Y data as Y. Remember, we have to define these values before opening CF tool to access these data from here. So if we do that, you can see it already plotted that and it kind of automatically fit the polynomial degree one. And we can see the data looks like this. As you can see from the results, the fx, the function is p1x plus p2, and we already have the coefficients. So instead of using a polyfit function, we can use this and get the exact same answer. And then we also have the r squared, the errors. So this r squared is the representation of how much error we have. If r squared is one, that means it fitted exactly the data points. If not, then we have some error and the root mean square error is this one, which is five showing. So something like that. So uh, we can change this polynomial degrees from one to two to three or more to, if we have a curved surface, we have to increase this. But if not, then the one should represent a line. There's another, there's plenty of options here. So we can calculate interpolant. And then from here, we can also input custom equation, exponential, Fourier, Gaussian, and there's power equations and so on. So we can select those 
and from here we can select the degree there's another thing called create options where we can choose the lower and upper bound of these coefficients if we want to put them in a range we can do that and it will automatically fit that and give us the value so that is how we can do regression analysis and using cf tool this is pretty easy and we can actually get the result we can save this, save this uh, whole thing from here and that way um, if we do save session as that way it will generate the this this curve fitting tool it will save it and you can revisit it after you have saved it so this is the easier way to do it um, that's it for now hope that was helpful see you in the next one